Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this video today, I will be talking about the FNAF movie. So for those of y'all who don't know, the FNAF movie has pretty much been at works since like 2014 or 2015 around, and to, and to be honest, the reason it still hasn't been like, there hasn't been like much to say about it uh, is because like the script keeps on changing that's why we after like a a good while of it being worked on we still haven't got a trailer or much news about it at all so yeah it leads people to wonder if it's actually ever gonna happen but i feel like eventually at least in the next five years i feel like it should happen but then that leads to the question, what would the FNAF movie be about? When I originally heard or thought of a FNAF movie, I, I thought, oh, it, we could just do the FNAF lore as a movie. But then the more I thought about it, the more I realized that is a terrible idea. Because the thing is about the FNAF lore is that it's so, like, cryptic and so, like, <clears throat> there's a reason... It's people are more into the FNAF lore than any other piece of lore. It's because there's a lot of it. And still some of the questions are left like unanswered or with multiple answers that could be correct and stuff. And having a full on movie that just explains all of it would kind of defeat the purpose of like leaving some of those things in the lore. That's like as questions that we can answer ourselves. That kind of like defeats the purpose turning it into a movie. So instead, what would a good idea for the movie be? After thinking about this question for a while, about like what the FNAF movie should be about, I've come to the conclusion that if there is a FNAF movie, that it should be about Cassidy. So for those of y'all who do not watch Game Theory, uh, Cassidy is one of two souls possessing Golden Freddy. The other one is the crying child, but we already know a lot about him. The reason I chose Cassidy specifically out of all the characters in the f big, like, FNAF universe is because, surprisingly, for we don't know much about Cassidy's, like, personality besides the fact that she really hates William Afton and wants to get revenge really badly. We don't know much about her or his, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I don't know much about its personality. Like, I don't know. It just seemed like Golden Freddy for like FNAF 1, 2, and 3, Golden Freddy was like the most important character to for like the lore and stuff not including springtrap of course but in it's like yeah it was like the most important character but then all of a sudden it just kind of like stopped it kind of like went away we, it's it, we're told that it's this person named cassidy but we don't know much about cassidy that's the thing that always bothered me we don't really know much about who this person is we don't know much about its backstory when meanwhile we look at the crying child, which is the other kid possessing Golden Freddy, we know tons about him, how like his family, he's part of the Afton family, and uh, how like he, they, William Afton like tried to scare him using nightmare animatronics, and how he's all like uh, scared of the pizza place and got his head bit off, but like we don't know much about, we don't know that much about Cassidy compared to the crying child which I feel like we should get to know more about Cassidy and what better way than to make a movie about her at this point in the franchise uh like we're we're on like the ninth or eighth game in the series I'm pretty sure uh and we're already like well past the golden freddy kind of era or arc like we, that kind of ended all the way back in like FNAF 
three or four. So it would it wouldn't really make sense to have Cassidy be explained at this point in the game franchise because we're already well past that point. So it wouldn't really make sense to explain it in the newer games. So what better way to explain it than make a movie about it? So for those of y'all who have been like keeping up to date with like all the scripts, like like uh, scrapped scripts and stuff for the FNAF movie, y'all will know that there was one FNAF script or movie idea that was about Cassidy that told the story of Cassidy, but apparently it was like scrapped or canceled because it was only it would only please the hardcore FNAF fans. Anybody who's just kind of new to the series or isn't into the lore that much wouldn't really feel satisfied or wouldn't really like the movie much because it's only for it was only for like the hardcore FNAF fans. But to be honest, I feel like that can just be like I feel like that can just be like altered, like changed for the better. Like I feel just because it's telling the story of Cassidy doesn't mean that it has to be only for the hardcore fans. I still feel I feel like you can still make the movie even if it's mainly telling the story for Cassidy. I feel like you can still make the movie pretty like good for new FNAF fans as well as long as you do a pretty good job explaining all the stuff that has already been explained for the hardcore FNAF fans, I feel like it's then newer FNAF fans can also enjoy it as well. Or here's an even better idea. You could make the main character be a relative or like related to Cassidy, or at least be like some sort of father figure that has to work at the Five Nights at Freddy's building. I think specifically it would have to be like either like the original or like the one before that, I'm pretty sure. I think it would have to be like the first, the 1983 FNAF building, the one that originally has the withered animatronics. I think it would have to be that building in the timeline, so that way it would be before the murders, but still after, like, still have all four of the original animatronics. So yeah, it would take place in the uh, FNAF building that has the withered animatronics before they're withered. And you're the security guard who would, would be like the main character could be Cassidy's like either older brother or like a father figure or something like that. Just like some sort of guardian or parental figure for Cassidy. And then have Cassidy, like, have have that person die at the end. And Cassidy also, like, having to, like, pretty much have it be, like, an origin story for Cassidy. And why he, he like, kind of hates William Afton even more than the other animatronics. Because I get, oh, yes, he did die from William Afton and get murdered from William Afton. So, like, of course, he's going to have a burning passion of, a like, a hatred for the purple guy, which is William Afton. Of course, of course she is. But, I mean, like, all, but all those other four, like, dead children also died from William Afton. And you still see them angry at William Afton. But you don't see them as angry as Cassidy. So I feel like there needs to be something, something that could be in this FNAF movie about Cassidy that explains why Cassidy is even more angry at William Afton than every other animatronic in the game. So, yeah, that is my idea for a FNAF movie. Have Cassidy be related to a security guard and both of them end up, like, going through a tough time or, like, a tragedy involving like being murdered or something so yeah who knows maybe even they'll show maybe they can even show William Afton murdering the kids 
I know that sounds wrong out of context if you don't know the FNAF floor. But yeah, maybe they could even show like murdering the kids and stuffing them into the animatronics at the very end. Officially being the end of like Cassidy's human lifespan before she's like possessed by a Golden Freddy. Or before she possesses Golden Freddy, I mean. And yeah, that's the idea. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Comment what you think the FNAF movie should be about. If you do even have an opinion on it. So yeah. See ya.